Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday here in Colorado. Hope everybody's staying safe. Uh, hope you guys are uh, not getting sick or anything. And uh, hopefully this whole uh, quarantine thing will be over soon. So um, anyway, I've been uh, working on the car. Uh, my daughters and uh, uh, my son, Xander, have also been helping. Um, so let's take a look at uh, what uh, we've done over the week. So um, there's not a whole lot really new. Um, nothing uh, that um, I can go into grave detail, but I've uh, been uh, taking care of a lot of nitpicky little things. Uh, these doors, uh, I can't say enough about them. They, they are just so, so difficult. Um, you can see we've got the glass in. I've hijacked the um, buttons from our Aventador console. And I can kind of show you what that looks like if we hit the up button. Sounds nice, right? Got it all nice and smooth. Okay, so that's working pretty well. I'm very happy you got both doors like that. We do have them sticking up just a little bit above the uh, belt line of the uh, interior door cards but you know what it, it is what it is um, there's some people I know who have a lot more reveal than that uh, we've got our speaker box back in uh, I made a metal surround for it so that I could bolt it in nice and tight um, again all of this will be covered with foam and leather so uh, it should look pretty good when it's all finished now, the other major thing I did yesterday was I redid this section, okay? So I tightened it up. Um, I did a bunch of metal work on the sail panel here. And I broke down and made the scoop out of steel. Now, let me explain why I did that. Yes, I know this is 3D car printing. <laughs> but in fact, um, when I was going to get done with the scoops, they were going to be... Uh, heavier than uh, this uh, 32 thou steel and I don't think that uh, I would have been able to do the carbon fiber without too much distortion uh, and so it, it actually only took me a span of about an hour to fab this up and then the nice thing was is I could actually weld studs into the scoop so it just pulls off and screws from the backside so it's really uh, nice and then we'll put a, a tube down back there so that it goes to the uh, turbos so anyway um, I did use the 3d printed scoop as a pattern that worked out really well um, and so that kind of led me to I'm not going to change any of the uh, panels of the car uh, they're doing just quite well in carbon fiber. They're relatively light. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, probably stop uh, here. But we're going to start uh, getting our uh, gaps uh, a little bit better. You can see we've got a gap there. Um, door gaps on this side are in need of help because there's actually a pretty heavy reveal there. <clears throat> we did the front door gaps, which turned out really nice. Uh, it may be a little heavy on the top side there, so we'll uh, maybe shim or uh, do something else for that. So the other thing we did was we did this. Um, so this side scoop. Um, it's bigger than the normal side scoop, but it doesn't exceed the edge of the car. So that should be able to pull in a lot of air for the radiators. So I'm pretty happy with the way these turned out. <clears throat> Again, I, I uh, was able to do these guys in uh, 32 thou steel, and it, it took me literally uh, about an hour to put that together. So <clears throat> when it comes to flat and slightly curved surfaces, I think the steel <clears throat> does a great job. But when it comes to radically curved surfaces, the 3D prints are uh, encapsulated in carbon fiber, I think, are the are the trick. So I think you got to mix it up, <clears throat> right? This is this is building a car. Um, obviously, you can't uh, 3D print the whole thing. Well, I can't in my garage. There are some companies who've uh, figured out how to do all of that. 
But if you're doing it as a hobbyist or in your garage, um, the steel is relatively inexpensive. Uh, it's easy to uh, work. And I did this all uh, with basically a crappy brake from Harbor Freight. No offense to Harbor Freight. Uh, their stuff is pretty inexpensive. So if you can make it work, go for it. Um, <clears throat> and uh, some of these uh, hammers and this aluminum plate is what I've basically used. So uh, I've got one of these. I've got an, a couple more of these uh, finishing hammers or body hammers. They work really well. Um, the other thing I did sponge for was a shrinker stretcher. So that uh, actually comes in great and real handy when you just need this ever so slight curve um, in, uh, in your parts. So I recommend those. But that's it. That's all I've used. Now, to fashion that uh, scoop, we did this. This is our 3D print. So you can see uh, it's got all the shape. I fit it on the car, and then uh, we made it in steel. And so I think it looks really good. I'm, I'm really, if I, if I do a shot down the side of the car, it's hard with the lift there. You can see, I think it's starting to look pretty sweet. Um, I got to get the air system running and the engine running so I can get this thing out in the open and uh, do a video on the whole thing, drop it down. We can see the ride height and the stance and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I got a windshield, uh, which is uh, waiting to be put in, but I've got to take care of some of these uh, issues with uh, the carbon fiber where it's... Uh, uh, obviously uh, had some issues so I have kind of a con concave thing here now in an earlier video I told you what I did on the doors is I just didn't fill in big gaps with uh, Duraglass. Duraglass is a great product it holds up it's very strong but in my case what I did was I actually mixed uh, cut carbon fiber in with the Dura glass, and oh my god, it makes a really strong uh, edge, so it's uh, pretty hard to uh, damage that. So that's going pretty well, but you know, time will tell. The next thing, again, as I said earlier, is we're going to do this door gap down here, so look for that. Uh, the other nice thing is, is that uh, we've got a system that'll come and turn on. Um, we still have to uh, do the dash uh, in the colors we want. Right now it's set in blue, but we're going to do like the radio, which is in red. So, so stay tuned for that. So thanks again for watching, guys. Um, we're, we're making good progress. Um, I want to hit the Rock and Roll Car Show, uh, which is uh, down at Bandemir Speedway here in Colorado. Uh, it's put on by KBPI. 107.9, uh, and uh, my friend uh, Willie B. And so hopefully we'll be again in the builders area. I'm I'm looking forward to that. That was a lot of fun last year, and so it's it's really something for us to shoot for. And uh, I, if you are in Colorado or you're traveling over here, uh, I think it's uh, it's in late August. I don't know the exact date, but uh, if you can make it out, it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, you can drag your car up and down the strip. You can race your friends. Uh, you can do a lot of really cool stuff. So we had like thousands of people come by the car last year and uh, the kids were just amazing. So they were allowed to crawl around in the car and check it out. And it was pretty rough back then. So I think we'll be presenting a much uh, better build uh, this year. Hopefully have it running, maybe take it down the strip. Uh, Probably not going to push it hard um, so that I don't leave parts on the uh, quarter mile. That would be bad. <laughs> so anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, again, love your comments. Thank you for uh, watching and, and uh, uh, talking to me through that uh, venue. Uh, go to our Facebook page, 3D Car Printing, too, if you want to see uh, some of the picture updates uh, that we do. Um, in between. So have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.